Hello, hello friends, Dapper Drabby here, and we're finally going to do the face-off portion of Galissapod, Garbodor versus Gardevoir. Uh, this is going to be kind of a rematch of the World Championship deck. Um, we're going to be using the Anaheim pin for the GX counter on this side, because I think I buried my other GX counters, so I'm just going to go with that. Uh, we're going to go ahead, shuffle these up, uh, roll a die, odds on this side, evens on this side. So it is even, so Gardevoir will go first for this matchup, so. Let me just go ahead and get set up. Uh, cut the deck. I'll just put Gardevoir in the middle somewhere. I know some professional players will actually, like, cut it like they do a regular deck. So we'll put our decks over here since we'll be drawing on them a lot. Put the two deck boxes out of the way. We'll go ahead and get Gardevoir set up first. One, two, three. Uh, four. One, two, three, four. Or one, two, three. Yeah, because I, I can't count. So let's see. What are the cards we have? We started off with a Ultra Ball and Hexmania Gardevoir. So that is a mulligan. And on this side, which means we're going to start with an extra card on the Glissopod side. Glissopod starts with uh, a Tapu Koko. We'll put that face down. Go ahead and set up our prize cards here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And uh, Gardevoir is going to go ahead and shuffle up again because of that, because of that mulligan. Let's see if Gardevoir gets something this time. We start with the Vulpix, perfect. And have a Ralts on the bench. We also have Rare Candy, DCE, Fairy Energy, and a Field Blower. So let's go ahead and set up Gardevoir's prizes now. Fortunately, the back of these cards look identical, so it's kind of going to be difficult to tell the difference sometimes. So, players shake hands, we flip, and Gardevoir goes first. So, we have... Oh, wait, we forgot to... Uh, if Glissopod draws an extra card, leaves it in the hand. So, we draw for turn. We get a Via Seeker, which does not help us out. Um, looks like might be the best option right now. Is to attach a DCE to the Rolt. And begin... Oh, we can't begin. Turn one. Turn one, can't begin. That sucks. So, we just kind of have a dead hand. Nothing we can do about that. Except pass the turn to Galissapod. So, let's see if Galissapod's going to have a strong start now. We have Rainbow Energy, a couple of Grass, Guzma, Ultra Ball. So, what we want to do, obviously, is Lele first turn. Turn one, Lele. We're going to grab this girl right here, Bridget, and play her. Grab Wimpod, Trubbish, and probably another Wimpod. Yeah, we'll grab another Wimpod. And cut our deck. I don't have the most space here, so I kind of do a pyramid. This card pile. Um, don't need that right now. And what to do, what to do. I think we're going to attach a grass energy to a wind pod. And we will probably save the Ultra Ball for next turn. 
We don't really need to Guzma or anything. We're pretty well set up. Um, a DCE would have been nice, but apart from literally sycamoring the whole thing, uh, we would be out of luck. So I think we're gonna hold. We're gonna hold on to that hand and pass to Gardevoir. Fuel blower does not help us at all. <laughs> Fairy energy we can attach to the Ralts. And we're just going to beacon here. Um, and what we need to beacon for is a Lele and a Gardevoir. And I think we have two Gardevoirs prized. No, there's another one. Okay. We have one guard of our prize, though. We'll put these two in our hand, and it's the Galissapod's turn. So Galissapod should be able to go off this turn. We can go ahead and grab the float, throw it on to the uh, Trubbish. We can Ultra Ball and pull up uh... now we might wait for the Guzma on that part. Yeah, we're gonna totally try to like the smart play or is to get rid of the uh... we'll get rid of Garbodor and The grass energy. And normally we'd probably grab the trash lanch to block the abilities of Gardevoir. But we're actually just going to grab Galissapod. Evolve. Get a quick look through our deck. Kind of get an idea what's still in there. And because of the bad Gardevoir player that I am, Guzma for the turn. Take out Coco, bring up Ralt, and first impression, which if you guys did not know, um, this Pokemon is on your bench and becomes your active this turn. It does 90 more damage. I don't know if you can read that, but if you look up Galissapod cards, that will show that, which absolutely destroys this Ralt and allows Glissopod to take the first prize, which is a rescue stretcher. So back to Gardevoir's turn, we get a Ralt. We can finally Tapu Lele to grab a supporter. Which is probably going to be Bridget if it's not prized. I don't see Bridget, so I think Bridget is prized. There it is, okay. So... Same play, Bridget. It really sucks because it's two turns late. And we'll grab a Remoraid. Ralts. And I think a Deancey. I'm gonna grab Deancey. We're not gonna cut it for a second because we're still probably going to beacon this turn. <laughs> Is there any field? No, there's no items over there. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and beacon. 
Grabbing out a Gardevoir and an Octillery. Pass it over to Galissapod. Now Gardevoir has a chance to come back here. So we're going to see if that's what the case is. So you got Rainbow Energy Rescue Stretcher VS Seeker. Um, you could VS Seeker bring something up and hit it hard. But it's only going to be for one prize. Yeah, we will VS Seeker Guzma here. Um, let me switch that there, and, uh, who do we want to take out? We know that they just grabbed Gardevoir and Octillery, and they still have the Gardevoir from the previous turn. So who do I want to take out? Do I want to take out the, the Gardevoir play, or do I want to take out the Octillery? Um, they have way more than five cards in their hand, so let's take out the Gardevoir. Let's take out another Ralts here. Uh, retreat with Coco. Any other cards I can play? I can play the Rainbow Energy, but who to play it on? I'm gonna go ahead and play it on... Play it on top of Lele. And go ahead and first impression for another 120, taking another prize card, which is a Wimpod. So if you guys can't see the Glissopod there. Okay, on this side, what do we want to promote? I'll promote the Ralts. We'll draw for turn. It's an Ultra Ball. We're going to Rare Candy up a Gardevoir. Evolve Remoraid into Octillery. We will... We have not seen any tools except for that float. And we haven't seen any supporters except for Bridget. So I'm going to Ultra Ball away the Field Blower and the VS Seeker here. Not the VS Seeker. Yes, the VS Seeker. Grab ourselves a Ralts for next turn. I'm going to Field Blower this Floatstone off of Trubbish. And then we have two cards in our hand, so we're going to Abysmal Hand until we have five, which is three cards. We get two Fairy Energies. We're going to Attach for Turn. We are going to Secret Spring for another Energy. And we are going to Infinite Force for... Looks like 30 times the amount of energy to both, so 30, 60, 90 damage. So we're going to hit this Glissopod for 90 damage. Taking it halfway out. Okay, back to Glissopod turn. Um, we're going to Rescue Stretcher the Garbodor. Play down the Glissopod and Sycamore our hand. Four, five, six. Oh, we got the, the Heavy Ball Garbodor play. Um, we're going to Heavy Ball, though, and grab a Glissopod GX here. And evolve this one that's been here forever. What do we have? 
we have Ultra Ball, so we could crossing cut GX here. Switch places. We're going to go ahead and throw a Rainbow Energy onto Glissapod here. Oh wait, we don't want to do that yet. I take that back. I forgot the play I was actually doing. I forgot the play that I want to do here is actually the DCE on Glissapod GX. Yes, I'm going to allow myself to take that back. And I'm going to go ahead and crossing cut GX, which does 150 damage to Garbodor, not Garbodor, uh, Gardevoir, and then uh, switch this Pokemon with one of your old bench Pokemon. So I'm going to do that crossing cut, put uh, Tapu Koko up there. And 60, 121, 50 on this Gardevoir. Yes, that's the best play. Back to Gardevoir's turn. We draw a DCE. We're going to rare candy up the Ralts in the back into a Gardevoir. Um, I think we're going to attach the DCE somewhere, and that somewhere might be 30, 60. It's going to be... That's 150. It matters which one here I, I put it on. We're going to put it on the back one. I would prefer to be safe here. And then we're going to abysmal hand for four cards here. Nothing we really get is good here. We can super rod a Ralts and a couple Ralts and a Fairy Energy back into the deck. And I am super dead drilling. Um, there's no other cards I really need. I need Fairy Energy. <laughs> I can't attack with him because I don't have any fairy energy. Um, do I have any supporter besides Bridget in here? Literally anything. No, I've only drawn the Bridget. Jeez. Draw Bridget and your three VS Seekers. That's just bad. We have no bench space for a Tapu Lele. I already used Abysmal Hand. Let me card it out here. I could put all ten of these cards back in my deck. But it seems like a waste of my GX move. Alright, let's retreat. Let's retreat Gardevoir. Throw Vulpix under the bus and then super rod these three fairy energies back into the deck. Begin. Just to thin the deck out. Um, 
We are hoping to have room for a Tapu Lele this next turn. And we're hoping we can Ultra Ball away a Curlia for a Curlia. Yeah, we need to bring back those, uh, those Ralts. I'm gonna grab Curlia. Back to Glissador's turn. Okay, so what do we have here? We have Flying Flip in the active. We have a Glissapod in the bench. And a Glissapod on the bench. We'll throw that Rainbow Energy down now. Putting that 10 damage. We can Ultra Ball weigh a Sycamore and an Ultra Ball. And we can grab another Glissopod GX. A Tapu Lele or a, a Trebish. Since we already have the Wimpod down, I guess we will grab the Glissopod GX. Get a third one of him set up. What's left in our hand is Garbodor Sycamore, so we're gonna Sycamore. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We're gonna go ahead and retreat with Tapu Coco. <laughs> And put up the one with the rainbow energy to attack for 120 and take a third prize card, which is an N. So the list of hot is running things right now. And I'm going to go ahead and promote the Gardevoir with the double colorless energy on it and we'll draw for turn we have an N so that's kind of useful so we can get our opponent down to three cards and us up to six um I wonder if I want to ultra ball though I would ultra ball for the top of Lele though so that's the thing I would toss it to Curly to get an Top of Lele, but I don't need to since I have the N. So we're just going to straight up play N. Shuffle our hand into our deck. And draw six cards because we have not taken a prize yet. Make Galissapod do the same thing over here, but only draw three. And this is where Gardevoir can kind of come back, start swinging hard, and take multiple chain KOs in a row. Okay, let's see the six cards that Gardevoir got. Three Sycamores, uh, Ultra Ball, Remoraid, and Curlia. So we will, of course, go ahead and Ultra Ball... Is that the right play? <sighs> Let's toss a Remoraid down. Ultra Wall away a Curlia and a Sycamore to grab Octillery. Which you don't have, so... Grab Tapu Lele.
And then we will Abysmal Hand for two cards. That just screwed me over. Uh, that just screwed me over. Because now I can't attack. Attach the Choice Band to Gardevoir. And be ready to take a hit. Oh, I can't believe I got screwed over like that. So many fairy energies in this deck. And didn't pull a single one of them. Uh, so Gardevoir has to pass. Hmm, what's the choice here? Blue Spot's gonna Acerola the active here. Put it in the hand, put promote this one. Uh Put the wind pod down. Field blower the choice band. And attack with uh, first impression. Yeah, attack with first impression for 120 damage. Gardevoir's turn. Still nothing. Okay, so. Sycamore. Four, five, six, and seven. Are you kidding me? Seven cards and did not pull what I need. That is amazing. Okay, DCE Lele, retreat the Gardevoir, burn the DCE, <sighs> throw a choice band on Lele, and uh, I think I might rescue Stretcher here. Might rescue stretcher a Raltz, Tapu Lele. Yeah, okay, so. I'm gonna go ahead and rescue stretcher. Two Raltz and a Lele. And go ahead and attack with Lele. 20 damage times the energy, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 damage. Which is enough? No, it's 180. Oh wait, we got the choice band. That is knockout. Okay. Knock out the Glissopod and take two prizes. Which is a Gardevoir and a Hex Maniac. That might come in clutch. Uh, advance the Coco over here. Evolve into Glissopod. I think we're going to VS Seeker. We'll probably VS Seeker the Sycamore. No, wait, we're gonna VS Seeker the Guzma. 
There he is, yeah. So we're going to play Via Seeker, Guzma. We're going to bring up the uh, Damage Gardevoir. I guess it doesn't matter which one. We'll just move the closest one up. Move up Glissopod. And go ahead and take 120, which is going to knock out this Gardevoir. Taking two prizes, Grass and a Rainbow Energy. Wish I had them at the beginning of the turn, but I didn't. And back to Gardevoir's side. So Gardevoir's side, they took a prize there. Draw for turn, Rare Candy. This is not very much good. We're gonna go ahead and Ace Arola this Gardevoir so it's not sitting on the bench. We'll put a Ralts down and attack with uh attack with the top of the letter here, so 20, 40, 60 plus 3, so 90 damage to this Galissapod. Draw for turn, we get Garbodor. Um, we need something to draw. Something to draw. I'm gonna play the Grass Energy onto Glissopod here. Hex Maniac, because I have nothing else to use. And first impression for 30 damage, because we do not just become the active this turn. Back over to Guardy side of things. We get an N. Uh, we have no abilities this turn. So we can rear candy up. A Gardevoir. And then... Gotta take a knockout. We're gonna end. Draw four, opponent will draw one. How about four cards? We finally get fairy energies. So he has 90 on him, so he still has. 120. And I think we fall slightly short of that. Actually, maybe not. Let's go ahead and throw manual attachment on Gardevoir. Use. We can't use Secret Spring. Never mind. Never mind. We can't use Secret Spring. I already forgot it. In the 2.5 seconds that I didn't have it. So we'll throw a fairy energy on Tabu Lele. And we will energy drive, which does 20, 40, 60, 20, 40, 60, 90, 110, 110 damage, which is a 6, a 4. I should say it's 280, 200, so 10 shy from the knockout. Oh man, and the card that they had. I'm gonna play Trubbish, Acerola, taking up all of this damaged Glissopod, uh, promoting the new one. 
throwing down a Wimpod, throwing down the Rainbow Energy on said Wimpod, and attacking for 120 damage. Which is not quite enough to knock out this uh, Tapu Lele, but it sits up there. Alright, so things are back now. We are going to manually attach a DCE to the Gardevoir, Secret Spring, a Fairy Energy. We are going to uh, Guzma, bringing our Tapu Lele to the back and our Gardevoir up front. And what do I think we need? 30, 60, 90, 120. So our best bet is to attack the top of Lele, I think. We're going to abysmal hand for four cards. One, two, three and four. We'll play down the Ralts. Can't attach anymore this turn, unfortunately. And so we're just gonna hit Tapu Lele with 120 damage. 30, 60, 90, 120. And draw for turn. Rainbow Energy and Galissapod. We're going to play the Galissapod. And Rainbow Energy, we will put on the Garbodor. So Garbodor will take 10 damage. Lele is going to retreat here, because why not? Um, we're going to bring up the fresh Galicidor, Galicipotomy, and first impression for 120 damage. Not our ideal. Um, we're really just waiting for a Guzma. We are top decking nothing. Sweet. So, Gardevoir is going to mainly attach a fairy and uh, Secret Spring, another fairy energy. We're going to which says 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. Um, We're slightly shy. We could Guzma up something. We could Ace Arola. Devolve into Curlia, let's Ace Arola up the top of the leg here. And attach this choice band to the Gardevoir. We will go ahead and Bismal Hand for one more card. We'll hang on to the uh, top of the leg. Okay, everyone, we're back. Um, I ran out of space on my phone, so the recording had to stop. But as I was saying, we're going to keep Tapu Lele in the hand. Can't play any energy. We can't abysmal. We are just abysmal hand, so we have five cards. Um, so all we can do is attack with Gardevoir towards Galissapod. There's nothing else we can do. So Gardevoir does 30 times the amount of energy attached to it, so it does, or attached to both. So it does. Uh, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 
180 because of the energy attached to Glissopod, and then does 30 more damage for the Choice Band. So can is just barely getting that knockout, I believe. So let me just recount that. 30, 60, 30, 60, 120, 30, 60, 180, 190, 200, 210. Getting that knockout on Glissopod and taking two prize cards which is a Gallade and a Fairy Energy, which we will add to our hand. So that was a big, big turn for uh, Gardevoir. Now it's down to uh, one prize on, Gard uh, on Galissapod's side to two prizes on Gardevoir's side. Galissapod is unfortunately in top deck mode. And we draw a Wimpod. Uh, now let me go ahead and use Garbodor to count... Or let, let me go ahead and look what Garbodor would be doing. So it does 20 damage times the amount of items, cards, and our opponent's discard. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 times 2 is 280 damage. Garbodor can demolish right now um and i think that is our play is to go ahead and retreat with tapu coco and go ahead and throw up garbador and show off the power of the trash alanche which is to demolish this gardevoir and take the last prize which is that final guzma so there you guys go in this case galissapod one got the easy prizes Gardevoir came back and caught up the whole time, but alas, uh, Galissapod was able to take the win at the end there. So thank you guys so much for coming out. Uh, leave a like if you guys like Galissapod over Gardevoir, and uh, be sure to leave a comment as well. Thank you guys. This has been Dapper Jabby. I'll bid you guys a lot, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.